overflows life and positive dimensions this is how one has to move from negative to positive and from positive to choiceless this is a journey first make your mind positive from hell move to heaven and from heaven you can move to moksha the ultimate which is neither of the two from misery move to bliss first and only then you can move to the beyond which is beyond both that is why the sutra says first to transform your mind from negative to positive and this change is just a change of focusing life is both or neither it is both or neither it depends on you and how you look at it you can look at it with a negative mind and then it looks like hell it is not hell it is your interpretation one should always see life in its positive dimensions and not giving emphasis to the negative this is certainly a choice but one who is negative cannot take a jump towards choicelessness <clears throat> unless life is looked in a positive dimension this is a journey if you can take it it is good however it is impossible in the beginning from the negative it is impossible to take a jump towards choicelessness because the negative mind means that you can see only the ugly you can see only death you can see only misery you cannot see any positive elements in life and remember it is difficult to lose misery it may look very strange when i say this but it is difficult to take a jump from misery it is easier to take a jump from happiness happiness becomes the jumping board it is easier to take a jump when you are happy because with happiness indomitable courage comes in with happiness the possibility of higher bliss opens with happiness the whole world looks like a home a miserable person lives in his own cage with misery the world will look like a hell and there is no hope everything is just hopeless when you cannot take cannot see life beyond the hopelessness then you cannot take a jump in misery one becomes a coward and one clings to misery because at least this misery is known you cannot be adventurous when you are unhappy adventure needs a subtle happiness in you as greater force this subtle happiness becomes a greater force in you then you can leave the known you are so happy that you are not afraid of the unknown it is like happiness is like you have plenty money in your wallet you can venture to go into any restaurant and you will not bother whether it is expensive or not you can venture this is simply an example you uh, you are so happy that you are not afraid of 
the unknown and the happiness has become such a deep phenomena a greater force to take you beyond that you know that wherever you will be you will be happy you know whichever restaurant you go you have a huge amount of credit in your card credit card or debit card with the positive mind you know there is no hell and wherever you are the heaven will be it will follow you you can move into the unknown because now you know that heaven moves with you you have heard that you have you enter heaven or hell this is nonsense no one enters heaven or the hell you carry your own hell and heaven with you wherever you go and wherever you enter you enter with your heaven or hell heaven and hell are not doors they are burdens that you carry with you only with a dancing heart you are happy blissful and positive you can take a jump into the uncharted that is why i say from negative you cannot be choiceless you cling to your misery it is known you are a acquainted with it you are related to it and it is better to remain with the known misery than with the happiness which is unknown at least you have become accustomed to it you know its ways you have developed a certain affinity with it and dense and along with that affinity you have developed a defensive mechanism as an armor around you to be safe with the misery an unknown misery will need new defense mechanism it is always better to be with the known it is always better to be with the known misery then with unknown misery with happiness quite the reverse is the case with happiness one wants to move into the unknown unknown happiness because the known becomes boring very soon however you never get bored with the known misery you do not get bored with the known misery but you would get bored with the known happy so you are ready to venture but with hap with misery you prefer the known misery you enjoy it look at the people talking about their misery and they rejoice talking about their misery they enjoy it they magnify their misery as a subtle happiness with happiness you get bored with happiness you can move into the unknown the unknown is very at attracting you and the choiceless is the door for the unknown the unknown is very attractive and it is inviting you and the choiceless is the door to the unknown this is how one has to move from negative to positive and positive to choiceless first make your mind positive from hell move to the heaven and from heaven you can move to moksha the ultimate 
which is neither from misery move to bliss first and only then you can move to the beyond which is beyond both misery and bliss you reach the ultimate <laughs> that is why the sutra says first to transform your mind from negative to positive and this change is just a change of focusing life is both or neither it is both or neither it depends on you and how you look at the life and its various phenomena you can look at it with a negative mind and then it looks like a hell for you a source of misery it is not hell it is only your interpretation life is your interpretation how you look at it the kind of the glasses you keep on your eyes that only filters the world to you you change your outlook the way you look and live life therefore look positively and this is what is meant by the attitude of the atheist i do not call a man an atheist or theist because he believes either believes in god or not i call a man theist if he has a positive attitude and a the atheist who has a negative attitude towards life it is your way of looking at life determines whether you are an atheist or theist it is not a question of saying no to god instead it is a question of saying no to life atheism is not saying denying the presence of god it is denying the presence of positivity in life instead of saying no to god it is a question of saying no to life and the living process the theist is one who says yes and looks always from a different kind of a mindset yeah yeah saying mind oh yeah that is his approach theist approach to life is oh yeah true and atheist the opposite then everything changes totally if you start looking at life with this oh yeah this kind of approach oh yeah really and that approach changes everything in your life enough for now